A warm welcome to One Sky. Be sure to follow Aviation Flat 350 on Instagram, also linked in the description below as well for more great photos. Do also follow the new One Sky Network Spotify channel for some great audio tidbits about aviation, one of the rare few aviation Spotify channels. The first ever engine comparison, GE9X versus Rolls-Royce Trent XWB and Trent 1000. These engines are applied on 777X, 8350 and 787 respectively and play a key role in the sheer efficiency and performance of these aircraft. Before we start though, just a quick reminder to check out the new Aviation Flat 350 Instagram page, which is now the official One Sky Instagram page shared across both Aviation Flyer and of course Airplane Productions. You'll get a glimpse into life as an F geek. Also, it's worth noting that these comparisons are not about Team Rolls-Royce or Team GE, but it's about Team Aviation. And of course, as part of the One Sky podcast, I not only express my opinions, but also asked for your opinion on which engine is your favourite. Before I start on the technical and F-geeky comparisons, let's have a listen to the Avid Aviator this week. Firstly, Thank you so much to Airplane Productions for allowing me to contribute to this epic engine comparison. I also appreciate his help in my own series on my channel. Well, let's dive into the first engine, the Rolls-Royce Trent 1000. Rolls-Royce is one of the most prominent jet engine manufacturers for commercial aircraft. While the Trent 1000 may be known for its reliability issues, the Trent 1000 is a next generation engine with a high bay bypass ratio and overall great efficiency. But before we get into details, let's dive into some background. Back in the early 2000s, Boeing was designing their newest next generation wide body aircraft, then known as the 7E7. Boeing had studied the aircraft market to decipher what kind of wide body would be optimized for the industry as a whole. Boeing found that efficiency was the most important factor that they should prioritize in their new jet. Boeing designed an incredible fuselage and wings that had aerodynamic capabilities that had never been designed by Boeing before. But one of the main factors of making an aircraft fuel efficient is the engine. So Boeing looked to different engine manufacturers to present their best option to be put on the 787 Dreamliner. Rolls-Royce designed a new engine based on the Trent 900 that incorporated new technologies with a higher by bypass ratio to make it more efficient. The first run of the engine was in February 2006, with the first flight with the new engine taking flight a year later on a 747 testbed aircraft in Waco, Texas. The design of the engine features a six-stage high-pressure compressor, which is driven by a single turbine stage. The new technologies made the engine have better fuel burn and performance compared to the Trent 900 and other comparable engines. Boeing officially chose the Trent 1000 as one of the two engine choices for the 787 in 2004 before development of the first engine. The first customers of the 787 with the Trent 1000 engine were Air New Zealand and ANA. The Trent 1000 was the less popular engine choice for the 787 overall, with about a 38-40% to 40 market share. Rolls-Royce offered a newer variant of the Trent 1000 called the Trent 1010. It offers a lower fuel burn of about 2-3% to 3 due to technologies taken from the Trent XWB, the A350's engine. While the Trent 1000 is a great engine, flaws have ridden its career so far. Ever since 2016, some airlines found corrosion cracking on the turbine blades. After further inspection, more issues were found, and Rolls-Royce designed new parts to be distributed to the affected airlines. But problems have constantly plagued Rolls-Royce and the Trent 1000 engine. Reliability issues have been a main concern for the Trent 1000 engine for some time now. The Trent 1000 is still a great engine that has powered one of the most influential and efficient aircraft the skies have ever seen. The 787 Dreamliner should see the Trent 1000 power its graceful flight through the years in the skies to come. Okay, now it's my turn, and for a more detailed run-through of the engines. Right, let's begin. The GE9X has the largest fan of any commercial jet engine at 134 inches. The Trent XWB has a fan diameter of 118 inches and the Trent 1000 112 inches. 
GE9X has the highest bypass ratio at 10 to 1 compared to 9.6 to 1 for Trent XWB and amazingly 10 to 1 still with a smaller core for the Trent 1000. The GE9X does however have the highest pressure ratios of any engine at 60 to 1 compared to 50 to 1 for Trent XWB and 50 to 1 for Trent 1000. Higher bypass, higher pressure ratios means less fuel injected to produce the same amount of thrust with a smaller proportion as the engine core, meaning the GE9X is the most efficient. It burns 10% less fuel than the previous GE90 and 5% less than the similarly powered Trent XWB97 on 8350-1000. Fuel burn is about the same compared to Trent 1000, but then fuel burn per pound of thrust is the lowest yet. The GE9X is rated to 110,000 pounds of thrust on takeoff and 105,000 pounds under normal circumstances. The most powerful Trent XWB, the 97, produces up to 97,000 pounds of thrust and the Trent 1000 TEN up to 76,000 pounds rated for 787, though it can go up to 81,000 pounds of thrust. Now let's talk the technologies for each. The GE9X features the 4th generation carbon composite fan blades, which allows for higher pressure. It has fuel fan blades at 16 and uses ceramic matrix composites to allow for higher pressure in the combustion chamber. This makes the high pressure chamber 2% more efficient. It was supposed to feature chevrons, though these were quietly pulled out. Speaking of chevrons, the Trent 1000 is the only one to feature them, reducing noise from the engine by allowing for smoother mixing of hot air from the core with the surrounding air. It is also the only Rolls-Royce with a bleedless design given the 787 uses more electric systems for in-flight systems such as anti-ice and cabin pressure. The newest Trent 1000T and features a scaled version of Trent XWB84 compressor with new Advanced Core 3 technology. Three bliss stages go in the new compressor and it has 20 fan blades made of titanium alloy. The Trent XWB has 22 blades made also of titanium alloy. It keeps the same tree shaft design, has a 6 stage turbine and an 8 core compressor. The more powerful Trent XWB97 has the same fan diameter but a 5% larger core with 6% higher operating temperatures, slightly worsening the fuel burn performance and it's heavier due to thicker fan blades needed. Now let's talk reliability. Against all odds with the numerous engine issues as I am sure you've heard of with the Trent 1000, especially regarding the blade cracks due to corrosion in the intermediate pressure turbine, Rolls-Royce markets a reliability of 99.9%, though I'm highly skeptical about that. Rolls also say the Trent XWB has reliability of 99.9% .9 as well, though this one is more believable given no real issues have surfaced with the architecture of the engine 6 years after it entered service. The GE9X has yet to enter service, and with the fixes to the compressor following more wear than anticipated during one of the stress tests, it should enter service to prove itself just as reliable as the previous GE90. Trent 1000 has received ETOPS of 330 30 minutes, with the GE9X expected to beat 330 minute time. The Trent XWB has the highest ETOPS yet of ETOPS 370. There we are. Trent 1000 is the first and the most efficient, the Trent XWB the most reliable, and the GE9X the ultimate larger turbofan with the latest, greatest, and most efficient technologies. Which is your favourite? Do let me know in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in and to meet next time. One team, one aviation, one sky ahead.